चल गुड इवनिंग स्टूडेंट्स हाई आई एम राहुल फ्रॉम टीम सत्यम योर फिफ्टीन मंथ्स ट्वेल्व मंथ्स ऑफ प्रिपरेशन एज फाइनली बॉर्न फ्रूट कैट इज ओवर एंड आई होप यू हैड अ गुड गुड अटेम्प्ट द पर्पज ऑफ दिस वीडियो टू डे यू टू जस्ट गिव यू फर्स्ट कट ऑफ हाउ थिंग्स वेंट बोथ दिस लॉट्स वन एंड टू हाउ इट कम्पेयर विद द लास्ट ईयर एंड हाउ द डिफिकल्टी लेवल वॉज टू गिव यू एन आइडिया ऑफ द काइंड ऑफ परसेंटाइज डेट यू कैन एक्सपेक्ट गिव इन योर अटेम्प्ट राइट टू get into a little bit of detail uh if i talk of the two slots the first thing is <clears throat> there was no change in pattern even though the mock that was uploaded by cat had 28 questions in dii and all but again that was not something that was brought forward the paper was similar to what it has been in the last 3 4 years uh, uh, vrc lrdi qa three sections 34 32 34 questions respectively and a time limit of 1 hour each so that did not change as far as the level of difficulty goes uh, i'll start with slot 1 first unlike last year i think uh, the level of difficulty for english was higher uh, more so because in the first slot out, out of the five passages which had 24 questions so four uh, passages had five questions each and there was one passage four questions it was difficult to comprehend almost two three sets okay so answering the questions was, became uh, difficult in itself so uh, the rc part was difficult Uh, compared to the last two three years, uh, what could have saved you was the VA part, the ten questions of verbal ability, where, where there were four para jumbles, three sentence uh, exclusions, and three summary questions. Uh, out of these uh, ten questions, six to seven could have been answered easily. They were easy questions, and therefore overall the difficulty level for this set would be moderate to difficult. Difficult mostly because uh, RCs were difficult to comprehend. Uh, much 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 better than the last year's uh, rc season therefore the attempt should also go down because uh, unnecessarily attempting questions that you're not able to comprehend will lead to negative marking and therefore cut offs would be lower as far as lrdi is concerned i think for the first slot lrdi lrdi was the savior uh, compared to last year it was easier it was very easy to attempt three four sets uh, there was a good mix of sets there were di questions there were lrb questions there was a combination of both the idea in this slot should have been to attempt three to four sets and then look for questions here and there uh, but yes uh, in terms of level of difficulty this was easier than last year and of the three sets also this was i think uh, the savior and therefore if i talk of percentiles i think 10 to 11 questions uh, net net would uh, lead to about a 90 percentile uh, uh, bracket in in the slot 1 lrdi section 13 to 14 questions you've done you should reach the 95 percentile and 16 to 17 questions so 16 17 questions means uh, completing four sets and then going to uh, a couple of questions in here and there that would lead to around 99 percentile in this section <clears throat> so overall this translates to a score around 50 51 uh, as far as maths is concerned uh, maths probably was easier than uh, last year because the last year match was really tricky but compared to 2017 it was more difficult in slot 1 there were a lot of questions from algebra and they were good concept based questions so there were questions on cos as well modulus series logs there there, there, there were lots of questions there uh, and though i would not term these questions as difficult but they were time taking and therefore in this set anyone who concentrated on arithmetic and geometry these were two sections which are easy in in, in this set would have done uh, much better because that would save time and accuracy would have been higher as well uh, going for algebra might have, have led to uh, uh, you know you losing time or not getting that kind of accuracy that was required in terms of number of questions and percentile 12 to 13 questions and 90 percentile 16 to 17 uh, would take you to 95 and if you have been able to uh, get a net net of around 20 questions 99 percentile should be there so as you can clearly see this is uh, you know a little higher than last year because last year uh, the number of you know uh, 99 percentile was there around, around 50 55 so slightly higher than that but again as compared to 2017 the uh, question paper was still difficult right so this was this was slot 1 <clears throat> if i come to slot 2 again slot 1 and slot 2 typically at least last year had a similar sort of a pattern with uh, respect to sections uh, here today i think it was it was very different Uh, in the second slot again the pattern was same in the sense that there were five passages four passages had five questions each one passage had four questions but in the second slot uh, slot i think 
the passages were more readable <laughs> apart from one passage which i think talked about british policy of colonization or something like that that passage was a little difficult to comprehend the other passages were not difficult to comprehend the questions were also not very long the options were were short options but they were very very close you know it was very difficult to eliminate the right options again you will will be stuck with two options and to then eliminate was becoming difficult so because of the kind of options given uh, the the level of paper was 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 high and therefore again tougher than what we have seen over the past years as far as para jumble sentence exclusion and uh, summary questions were concerned similar to the morning slot i think six to seven questions could have been answered easily and again this was the savior in the section <clears throat> moving on to uh, lrdi uh, this uh, section in, in in slot 2 was i think uh, towards a difficult level as compared to the morning slot uh, there were three four three to four sets outrightly on di and three to four sets on lr uh, the di sets were easy the graphs were not very difficult to comprehend the number of data points were not too high the types of numbers used was not very difficult 600 800 average nikalna there were questions like these uh, but uh, for me at least in my paper uh, they were in the middle you know so someone who was able to pick up the di sets first would have done better uh, accuracies would be higher and time taken would would not be that high as far as the lr was concerned the lr questions were what were, were challenging you know you had to make cases Uh, and there were chances of of you of getting wrong, questions wrong therefore in in this kind of a, of a paper i would suggest uh, if you were able to do around three odd sets completely and then look for individual or a question or two in different sets you know you pick up an lrd an lr set look for a couple of questions there that could have helped you increase your attempt and even trying to do a complete lr set would have lost lost a good amount of time uh, solving the set and therefore di plus selected questions from lr was the way to go here <clears throat> because it was a little more difficult than the morning slot i think uh, even 12 to 13 questions would mean that you reach a 95 percentile uh, 14 to 16 questions if you've done i mean that is again four odd sets or three sets plus two questions from two sets that would ensure a 99 percentile so this is even less than 50 for for the section <clears throat> as far as maths is concerned i think maths was easier than the morning slot uh, there were questions from almost all 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 sections arithmetic was there geometry was there algebra was there series questions were there and overall i think the level was not uh, very difficult so it was easy to moderate the challenge was the options given and something was there as a rider for example there was a question which talked of uh, factors which are perfect squares but the last word the last three words is greater than 1 so someone who missed it might have Committed a mistake. Then there was a question which talked of values in 2015 and 19, a 10% increase, 15% decrease. So you solve the equation, but the at the end the question that was asked was about the value of 2015. Options were 2015 or 19, दोनों की values थी. So that kind of mistakes could have happened for someone who uh, you know was trying to go too fast or not reading the questions uh, properly. Otherwise, questions were not very difficult. Uh, one thing that would have happened is uh, uh, these questions would require calculation. Uh, a lot of questions required calculation, uh, but you had to be smart about it. For example, there was a question on compound interest. So anyone who was able to find the rate rather than trying to solve the question would have done it faster. Uh, so if you were able to, you know, smartly calculate, of course, the, the use of calculator would have been there. But if you're able to smartly calculate, you would have saved a lot of time and therefore increased your attempts here. Overall, I think uh, the section was e easy to moderate, uh, certainly easier than the morning slot. Again, because uh, it was on the easier side, I think 70 to 18 questions would be a 95 percentile, and a slightly above 60, 20 to 22 questions would mean a 99 percentile. Right. So overall, overall, I think for both the slots, the story is similar. Uh, LRDI and maths, I think the attempts would 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 end up in a similar line. Uh, what could make the difference is 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 via the VRC section. If you are able to improve, you know, increase, get a good score in VRC, your overall score goes higher. Uh, all in all, I think uh, this paper is slightly a little difficult than what we had last year, but as compared, to, or maybe on the lines of 2017, right? So this is the first cut. We'll be coming up with a more detailed analysis uh, shortly. Uh, with you know, once more data comes in, uh, as of now, I think all the very best. I hope uh, you get what you deserve according to your efforts. 
and uh, you know i think it's, it's it's good time to now get on with the next papers excelera is up snap is up so i think focus shifts to that all the very best thank you